I made a 7-Eleven. About to get the makeup. Hey guys, it's Julia here, and today you already know what we're doing. 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven, 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven makeup, full face of makeup challenge. Anyway, this video was requested by Georgia B. Porter on Instagram. Shout out to you, girl. And then I put a poll on my Instagram and I asked you guys if I should actually do the video if you really want to see it. 94% said yes. I also did a poll on Twitter and 72% of you guys gave a yes, please. By popular demand, I'm bringing it to you. Um, if you're not already following me on Instagram, you definitely should because I've been replying to a bunch of you guys in the DMs. We've been doing a lot of DMing back and forth. Me you guys you might just want to add me at Julia Gilman if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe turn on the post notifications join the Gil fam become a jewel you know you know give this video a thumbs up if you want to see any more makeup videos or challenges or I don't even know you can comment down below if you want to see something else and one last thing before we hop into the video if you're not already subscribed to my vlog channel definitely subscribe and I'm actually gonna be doing a Christmas makeup chit chat getting ready with me in there soon Let's go ahead and get into the video without any further ado. I am actually still getting over. I don't know if it was strep throat or the flu. I sound a little funky. Hey, here's my bag. I'm saving and leaving stuff. I'm actually really rooting for this makeup to be good. It's pretty freaking affordable. I got the receipts. Um, my total was $89. And I just got like everything you basically need to do a full face of makeup. So that's pretty pretty good like even good for drugstore some drugstore makeup can be like hella expensive so i actually went to three different 7-elevens before i found the makeup and i actually called the last one to like double check and i found it in inglewood thank you i only went to like three but by the second one i was getting so anxious i was like about to freak out i was like there's no 7-eleven makeup i don't know how to like deal with my anxiety it's been there forever if you guys have tips comment down below but i was just like about to freak out and like roland looked at me and was like did you try calling i'm just like no first so we're gonna start with the eyebrows so it looks like there's like an eyebrow cream and a setting powder I typically just use a pencil but we're just gonna use a little teeny brush and try this out <laughs> when I say cream I meant wax that was brain fart oh wow you guys can really see my like veins and my like pimps my pimples I don't really like to fill in the front of my eyebrows too much now we're just gonna set it with the powder okay brows are done cute so now we're gonna conceal and I'm gonna also use this as like a primer for the lids because they didn't have a primer we're gonna conceal fabulous just gonna use this brush to kind of like blend it downward next eyeshadows these actually look very pretty I'm gonna be taking the second pink putting that on the lids oh I'm just using the same brush I used to blend out the concealer for the lids whatever this color I'm putting it in the crease this little pinky right here with the eyeshadow blending brush this angular brush I'm gonna be taking this purpley shade starting at the outer corner and working it in oh my god I feel like a beauty guru and I'm gonna take just a smidge bit of the darkest color and only put that into the outer corner copy okay now we're just gonna blend 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 okay last but not oh, oh damn I just stuck my nails in here okay now we're gonna be taking the lightest pink and highlighting the brow bone and the inner corner and then we're gonna pause on the eyes do the face and come back to them we're gonna be taking the BB cream they have a beauty blender there well I mean their version of a beauty blender pretty cute it's even shaped like a beauty blender I'm gonna use this to blend out the concealer after I don't really wear foundation very often so <laughs> about to sneeze so anyway, how's life you guys? What you been up to? I haven't really chatted with you that much on this channel. I've been good. I'm getting over the worst. I don't know what this was, if it was a flu or whatever. But yeah, the holidays are coming up. I think I have like a few more holiday videos left. At least two. Definitely comment your video request down below. You know, I always want to make what you guys want to see. Oh my god, this looks really funny. Not a makeup artist over here. Just your average chica. I have to move pretty soon. Don't know if I'm gonna stay in LA. I want to, but 
I have no roommates to live with now. Everyone's basically moving out. Might be able to get my own place. Might not. Don't know. Definitely will be vlogging about it though. Ooh, that kind of wrap. This BB cream doesn't look too bad. After I wet the sponge, I realized it's not the type of sponge that grows. So it's definitely not a beauty blender sponge, but it's wet. It's just hard. Oh, <laughs> both those things did not sound right. So I'm gonna apply my concealer under my eyes and wherever there's blemishes, so like maybe like right in this area. Gonna blend this out. When I first got the news that I abruptly have to move, I like freaked out because I was sick and I was like so stressed. But right now I'm just like really like working on figuring out how not to get like super anxious and stressed out about like every little thing. Meditating has like helped me a lot. And like I went to yoga class. I'm like not even that stressed out about having to move anymore. And another thing that's been helping me a lot is just like knowing that everything is gonna work out and happen when it's ready as long as I like stay positive do my part without harming anyone like things will be fine that type of thing just like believing in divine timing and understanding how karma works highly recommend you guys start practicing some meditations and stuff and seeing how you feel 7-eleven has got me they got me with a powder we're gonna apply this so you open it up you got your translucent powder and then you got a sponge to apply it but i think i'm gonna use five i don't think that that didn't work too well forget it i'm just gonna use a brush take it <laughs> take it two i actually think i like this powder looking fly i'm looking like a fly human bean so now that we got the face all put together we're gonna come back to the eyes i want to put some eyeshadows underneath the lower lash line because that's just something i like to do to kind of balance it out we're gonna be going from the lightest color all the way around to the darkest color we can get a little more zoom in here hi I always love a good felt tip. The real question is, do I wing it or do I just like, you know, lash line it? Ah, I'm gonna wing it. Whoa, that's drippy. Now we're gonna apply the mascara. So I'm not really digging this formula too much, but I'm gonna put it on my bottom lashes. It's time for the falsies. There were two options. I got the dramatic false lashes because normal just isn't enough for me. Gotta be extra. The glue. Ew. Oh God, it smells bad. It smells like feet. That's what this glue smells like. I did a bad job. Let me try the next one and come back to you. The lashes totally ruined the look. They just wouldn't blend. I tried to put more eyeliner to blend them and it's just like a mess. Next, we have my personal favorite, highlighter. So I'm gonna be taking the Golden Shimmery Highlighter. Is it bad that I don't like see a difference? I'll try the yellow one. Maybe I should stick to this one. We're gonna do the yellow. I don't know, this isn't like my favorite type of highlighter. I really like a very shimmery highlighter and this isn't very shimmery bronzer and they actually had a contour brush so I could just use this to contour I'm gonna be using the lighter of the two shades whoa that's pretty pigmented we're gonna take the blush brush which I actually use to set my powder in it's cool and we're gonna take this bright pinky blush I don't typically wear blush but I mean nothing's going untried put that on the apples of the cheeks cheek apples you know <gasps> crap now we're officially on to the lips. So I have two lip products we're gonna try today. First we have a lipstick and then we have a lip gloss. Here's our 7-Eleven lipstick. It smells cheap, but it looks okay on. Here's our gloss. Actually smells okay. Not sticky at all, actually. I actually like the gloss. It's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's not a bad look. It's just like, damn, these lashes though. They really mess this up. But let me give you some close-ups to get the full effect. Okay, so this is the look. Personally, I don't like wearing a bright pink lip. I just don't like it with my skin tone. I just don't like it on me. So I wouldn't do that. I don't know. They did not have a nude lip. I'm a nude lip type of girl. So we went with pink. But yeah, let me know what you thought of the makeup down below. If you try 7-Eleven makeup, definitely tell me what you think in the comments. And I mean, overall, I think 7-Eleven does have some pretty good makeup. So I mean, if you need something, 7-Eleven is pretty good at pinch. That's kind of how they are food-wise too. So of course, they'd be that way makeup-wise. 
So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more and you're not already subscribed, go hit that button. And if you have any video requests like this one or anything that you think of, the best place to reach me is not only the comments here, but my DMs on Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you missed my previous video, you can click it at the end. I will either see you in that video or I will talk to you in my next one. Heart! Bye!